What's going on guys? Welcome back to another beer review. That's right, Huggies Beer Reviews, and uh, even though we're in the kitchen, this is a legitimate beer review, although it's not a craft beer. Uh, what I have today is a beer from Peru. Matter of fact, let me show it to you. Oh, I'll show you the bottle. The label's kind of cool. See if you can make that out. This is called Tres Cruces, which translates to Three Crosses. Um, premium beer from Peru. Um, I saw this. Okay, let, let me set the stage here. I live in South Florida. Obviously, a lot of Latin American immigrants in South Florida. Therefore, in South Florida, you find a lot of Latin American beers. You know, beers that are imported from all the countries throughout Central and South America, um, and several that are contract brewed here. Um, the problem is they all suck because they're basically all adjunct lagers. You know, Central America really has no idea what good beer is. So all those national beers that make it here, and I'm telling you, we have between probably 15 and 20 different beers that are coming from, you know, from Colombia, from Dominican Republic, from Costa Rica, from Peru, from Guatemala, from El Salvador, not to mention all the Mexican beers, and the list goes on. And most of them suck. Um, there's another very popular beer from Peru called Cusqueña, um, which I've heard is actually really good in Peru, and the version here sucks because it's contract brewed. I don't know. But point is, I do not get excited when I see a Latin American beer because they're all adjunct lagers. Uh, but I saw this and I had to pick it up. I was at a local, um, I was at a local, one of the small local supermarkets, and I saw it and it was like five ninety nine, and I was curious. But mainly, what got me was that it says Cebada 100% Scarlet, one hundred percent Scarlet Barley. It has it in Spanish and English. Um, and I said, Scarlet Barley? What the hell is Scarlet Barley? Now I gotta pick it up and try this shit. Um, so I'm curious to see if that's gonna make a difference. I looked it up, it seems to be another adjunct lager. I have no rate beer or beer advocate ratings to give you because I think it's only got like five reviews on rate beer and like nothing on beer advocate. So, uh, or like one or two. So it's not really worth digging into that. Just for sake of argument, let me show you the uh, sixer there. There you go. So again, I'm not really hyped up about it, but I'm curious about the Scarlet Barley. I want to know what that's like. Um, since this is a lager, Sam Adams sensory glass there, Boston Lager sensory glass. And uh, does it say anything interesting at all? Barley malt water hops. Well, wouldn't it be nice if it just had barley malt water hops? Of course, yeast would also be good. Uh, brewed and bottled by Ahepen. Ahepen? Lima, Peru, and imported by New Image Trading Corp, Miami, Florida. No surprise there. Um, all right, enough of that. Let's just, and it's, it's one of those funky teardrop bottles. I do like the shape. That's kind of cool. But anyways, it's a twist off. It's been twisted off. And, you know, this is kind of a quick and dirty video here. I'm going to have me a couple beers, do some things online real quick, and then start preheating my oven. I got some chicken that I marinated last night that I'm, do it in the oven today. That'll be my evening. And let's... Yeah, there's nothing scarlet about this beer. This, this, this is a dingy gold color. I don't think I've ever used that to describe a beer before, but really, it's kind of like a dirty... It's clear. It's clear and it's, you know, lightly carbonated, but it's like a dingy gold. Yeah. Dingy gold. I never used that before, but that's what it looks like. It's... Oh, doesn't look too good. Take a look at that. The head's kind of fizzed away. It smells kind of malty. It smells kind of like a Bach. It smells malty. It actually smells halfway decent, man. I can't say I'm really picking up any strong adjunct smells. No corn, you know, no veggies. Overcooked veggies, none of that stuff. It just smells malty and simple. So let's just drink the damn thing, right? Cheers. I gotta say this isn't bad. 
I don't really detect any nasty adjunct flavors, man. Wow, this is kind of like a, it's, the body's not super light. The color kind of, I guess the binge kind of gives it kind of a richer body. Maybe it's that Scarlet Barley. I looked it up. I couldn't find anything about Scarlet Barley. I don't know what the hell that is. But uh, it's like a Bach, man. It's got a nice little malt character for a, for a light bodied lager. Um, not a lot of fizz, but it's not under carbonated. It's just about right. Good amount of malt flavor to it. This would be really refreshing if I was grilling. I might just save these for, for the next time I get to barbecue. The weather hasn't been friendly to, uh, to outdoor grilling. As opposed to indoor grilling, I guess, right? Anyways, but um, yeah, this this is a good like outside beer. This would probably go good with like some steaks or something. You know what I mean? This actually is not bad. Maybe there is a little trace of of like corn back there. It's hard to call. But it's mild, and you get enough of a rich malt flavor that you know any kind of corny veggie adjunct nastiness towards the back, um, you, you know you can forgive it because the, the the flavor up front is kind of nice. This is drinkable. This is a pleasant surprise. This is a a good example of, of scarlet barley, I guess. Um, take that for for whatever it may be worth. Um, if you come across Tres Cruces, which you probably won't unless you're in Peru or Miami. Um, Check it out, and if you uh, see something labeled, you know, in, uh, having uh, scarlet barley as an ingredient, hey, that might just be a good thing. Um, this, for what it is, for a crappy imported uh, Latin American beer, for what it is, glass half full. I was expecting just another piss water adjunct beer like most of them are, plain, clear, fizzy, you know, Budweiser and Bush wannabes, you know, Modelo and Corona wannabes and this actually has some flavor so thumbs up to them They actually broke the mold a bit there and uh, if you come across it check it out And I'm out of things to say stay tuned for the next one remember Hoggy's beer uh, Twitter the Google thing the Twitter thing the Facebook thing look me up add me subscribe all that good stuff I got more coming more good beer really I do I do and some cooking stuff and, and the knives and, 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 and all that stuff I've been promising you and been bullshitting on it's all coming stay tuned